ChatGPT5 is here, but is it any good and what does it actually do? The first big change is the model picker. They've massively simplified that model picker menu, which everyone found confusing anyway. And basically, it's just going to choose for you. And that actually means that free users for the first time will get some responses from the thinking model, which are slower but more reliable. And if you really want that, by the way, you can actually tell it in the prompt to think deeply. It's also notably faster. That really matters if it's going to be your always on work companion, right? You can also hook it up to Google Mail and Calendar so it can check emails or your schedule. Now that is a bit of a catch up feature because Gemini and Claude have had that for a while, but it's another step towards trying to become your always on personal assistant. Under the hood, it's topping the LM Arena leaderboards for text, coding and vision. In coding especially, the improvement is really obvious. Like. Is it better at writing? It's really hard to tell. But in terms of building sites and apps, I mean, it's doing it faster, with less errors, with more functionality. You can clearly see it is way better at coding. So this is a big upgrade for developers. And it's already in Vibe coding tools like Lovable and Cursor. They did claim in the launch event that it's much better at writing. I mean, I wasn't totally sold on GPT-5's writing being loads better. But what I am seeing is it's definitely better at following instructions, even with vague prompts. It just seems to know what you want. And you are definitely going to hear more people saying that prompt engineering is dead. It's also getting praise for being more proactive, less like a reactive intern and more like one with initiative. Sam Altman says that GPT-4 was like talking to a smart university student, but GPT-5 is like talking to a PhD expert on any topic. And I agree with that. They also talked about safety, saying that it's less likely to be deceptive and reveal dangerous information, which was quite ironic because the uh, bar graphs that they showed during that bit and also the other bits were really deceptive and people noticed that the bars made it look like they were absolutely crushing it, but they were completely out of proportion with the actual numbers on the slides. Anyway, there was a nice bit at the end where they talked to a cancer patient about how ChatGPT is really good at helping people people decode letters from the hospital or the doctor. And I've seen that in my own family. But GPT-5 is the next step on. And again, because it comes back with lots of stuff you might not have even thought to ask, it acts more like a consultant and is even more helpful in those kind of situations. So I thought that was nice.